Welcome back in Money Watch tonight. Riding on the coattails of craft beer is Reno's new distillery boom. It is huge. John Potter shows us the local industry that has more than doubled in just a year's time. Before state law finally allowed distilleries to sell more to customers, there were only five of them in all of Nevada. Today, there are eight distilleries in northern Nevada alone, soon to be ten. An opportunity for all of us to have a whole lot more great products in our state and a lot more to be proud of. It's like prohibition ended. Yeah, it really is. There's a distillery being built in Minden, the Frey Distillery already in Fallon, and a new one in Verdi. In what a year ago was somebody's house, Jeremy Bauman is now living his dream. One of his creations? Pumpkin cinnamon whiskey. Headless horseman. Headless horseman, yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> But first, there has to be a demand. Michael from Yelp says it's there. Oh, yeah. The, the rise in whiskey uh, consumption in the last year, years, has been epic. We can't keep up with it. I mean, we've had 260 cases go out, and we're just on top of it all the time, bottling, bottling, bottling. Uh, this here is our biggest little bourbon. At East 4th Street, Justin Stafford's The Depot got one of the first craft distillery licenses. It just happened to work out that the craft distilling license had become available. And why not export more of these hometown products, the silver corn whiskey here, the bourbon over here? Why limit how much a Reno distillery can sell to, say, a Sacramento bar? Well, changing that law has also boosted our tourism. Sacramento, San Francisco area. Um, Coming here. Coming here, absolutely. I mean, we get uh, quite a few visitors. They still think there's more the state can do. Jeremy Bauman already wants to expand. I think that if we had another location that we could sell, so that we could go to farmer's market. You can't do that? No, we can't. In the meantime, it's an industry of craftsmen making another product that's putting Reno on the map. Just give your local spirits some love, uh, learn to appreciate them, and talk to the people producing them, get to know them on a one-to-one -one level, and get connected with them. Covering Muddy Watch, John Potter, Channel 2 News. And you can get to know the experts in this burgeoning new industry on a one-to-one -one level with Yelp's Great Whiskey Hunt from now to next Friday. For opportunities to sample and enjoy, just click the news links button at ktvn.com.